Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here. We are on the west side of Pittsburgh, getting ready to reload here. And I wasn't going to film today, but I was like, hey, why not? So we're going to be filming today and tomorrow. We got to pick this load of trim boards up where you guys have seen me out here a few times already. Been doing a few loads a month and we're going to load up, take that to Quarryville, Pennsylvania, reload precast walls for tomorrow, which go to New Jersey. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. It is a Monday morning. So we just got back from, from the truck show. And like I said, had a great, great time. Um, I'm sure I missed some trucks and was wishing I would have done a little bit more interviewing with, you know, Super Trucker Dan, some of those guys, but yeah, I need, I need to get better at that. But there was other people waiting to talk to him and things like that, so I just kind of quick said hi, but I need to get better at, at that whole process, you know, interviewing guys that build a certain truck or different things like that, but anyway hopefully you enjoyed the content anyway so uh it was good to meet some of you all there i appreciated uh chatting with some of you guys so anyway we're just getting ready to hop off the exit here hope you guys enjoy this video stay tuned I did not feel like getting out of bed this morning. Lost a lot of sleep. And lost a lot of sleep last week before even driving down to Louisville, but <laughs> we'll make it. I did, not, I did not feel like getting up this morning, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but hey, it's a new day, it's a beautiful day, and uh, it's going to be a nice day to do some trucking. Last week, um, just had a lot of early mornings, like I said, a lot of loss of sleep, and oh, there's a truck coming. All right, we're gonna have to wait till he. That was my fault. We got a bunch of trucks coming. You gotta wait because it's a one lane through here. You gotta take the center in a truck. But anyway, a lot of loss of sleep last week, early mornings, and you know, sometimes when you're doing local surrounding states, regional work, you lose more sleep than if you're over the road because, um, you're going to let me go, lady? Thank you. I guess I'll just go. Thank you. Ah, oh, no, wait. You got to wait. You got to wait. There's another truck that's getting ready to come through. Sorry, man, but it's my turn. But anyway, what I was saying is sometimes when you're doing local regional work, like you get less sleep than if you do, if you're an over the road driver, because you know, you get home, you work a long day, you get home and you're, you know, you spend time with your family. You don't get to bed early, even if you gotta get up early. Thank you, sir. Thank you, driver, appreciate it. So, you know, sometimes when you're out overnight, you get more sleep. Because when you're when you get home from work, your family wants your attention, and you know the boys want my attention, which is great. You know I want to give them that. But if you have a lot of early mornings like that, you know you get to bed, get to bed nine thirty, nine ten o'clock, and you got to get up at two the next morning. You know you only get four or five hours morning after morning, but you know it happens a lot, so you just kind of deal with it. But anyway, enough of jabber. Let's get up to the plant here and get this stuff loaded up looks like he's bringing some stuff back I don't know 
guy behind me is going front a while, but I guess they'll get me loaded eventually. I guess we're after him, I don't know. We'll see, they'll let me know. Look at that, I've got a bag blown up in there. Somebody's package? <laughs> no, it's empty, I'm just kidding. It's empty. I don't want that in the bumper. Whatever, find a trash can to put that in. I've been trying to find some nice leather seat covers to put in here because I don't like these cloth seats I mean they're fine but they're so hard to keep clean and at the truck show there was several options there but nothing that I really liked there was an all leather one there they only had one in stock and I don't know we'll keep looking if you find a nice leather tan seat cover let me know because I'm looking for a pair some of the ones like at Rainey's and some of these places are crazy expensive I mean they're like 120 130 bucks a piece and you know I'm not gonna pay that for a seat cover I checked with Truck City Chrome they had some nice ones for like 70 bucks but they weren't leather so I don't know we'll keep looking we'll find some I think he's gonna get me to park right away. See what he's got to say. Well, maybe not. We'll wait here. Still waiting here. Not all the loading spots are full, so I don't know what's going on. If they're just not getting the loads ready fast or what. Like they bring everything out, you know, stage it and then you back in, but one thing I was gonna say about the truck show, <laughs> that's funny, John, who is from Franklin, Virginia, where I am loading at occasionally, he lives close by the lumber mill. That's where his shop is, I know that. Uh, said I was filming that Orange Kenworth from IMT, and he was in the video, and we never seen each other. <laughs> we didn't recognize each other, so that's interesting, but I wish I would've... Wish I would have gotten to meet you, but you know, it is what it is. Funny how that works. They're ready for me all the way down to the end. I don't know where there's a trash can, so I guess we'll take this envelope with us that we found between the bumper and the fender. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just take it home with us. We'll keep it as a souvenir.
we got our strap down and this is must be some different stuff the way those edge protectors are going i don't know what stuff's a pain to strap down but whatever should have put a half a twist in the straps we'll go down the road and see how it rides i don't know if this is like i gotta look on the slip but i think it's like sheets of stuff instead of well this guy's kind of in my way up here but i think it's like sheets of stuff instead of like the trim boards i think i can get through here a little tight so i gotta figure out how to i might have to redo my straps a little bit my edge protectors don't look good and yeah the the stuff just wants to like flex at the ends so i don't know we'll figure it out see how it rides going down the road but i'm afraid all my straps are just going to be flapping and carrying on so i might have to go back and put a half a twist in all of them we'll see how it works out sorry if i sound a little frustrated there but this is what i'm talking about I stopped here to just make sure I'm good and this is what I'm talking about right here see the edge protectors just squashing like that that's not gonna work as soon as a strap comes loose they're gonna slide down right there I cracked one that's really annoying so I'm gonna have to figure something out I'm gonna have to uh... oh man I don't know Put a half a twist in the strap, I guess, and just not make them as tight. We're gonna have to do something. Right there, I got one that slid down already, just after driving down this bumpy road, so. All right, well, we'll get it figured out. And then we'll get on down the road, so. Let's get her done. I ended up putting a half a twist in every strap, and I hope that's gonna take care of it. It still squashes the edge protectors. I don't know what else to do. Um, you know, I'm sure some of you guys are like, all right, he doesn't know what he's doing, blah, blah. And you're right. <laughs> I'm not the most experienced flat better, but I don't know if I've ever really had a product. I mean, you haul product that squashes, you know, it happens, but not something like this. I mean, you have to have edge protectors on here. Even though there's cardboard between every piece, you got to have an edge protector at the top, and all it does is squash your edge protector so i put a half a twist in made him snug not really tight just snug and away we go and we can see how these jake brakes sound in the tunnel come on back Make a little racket, you know? Act a little childish in the tunnel. But anyway, this product that I'm hauling, um, everything's staying tight, but this stuff is so goofy. Let me know if you've hauled it before. I mean, every other time I was out here, I was getting like the trim boards, and this is like the, ver it's Versa wrap. So it's like sheets of stuff, and it's thin, and it's like cardboard between every single piece and it just like flexes when you strap it but there's nothing you can do you just you know, like i said put a half a twist in it but it's just stuff is awkward to haul because it it seems like you're squashing it but it you know the material that it is it just kind of flexes and then you take the straps off it'll be fine it's just a little weird to strap down
I do have a few followers from Pittsburgh on here, but I don't know for sure. So let me know if you're from Pittsburgh. You got anyone from Pittsburgh on here?
years and that farm always gets my attention.
I do my editing and well I figured I'll just tell you guys on the video here I know I said it before but it's been a while but I use an iPad and I have the GoPro quick app which I use to uh, if I have the GoPro mounted up on the truck or somewhere, I can run it from my phone, like turn it off and on, enable the preview where I can see a preview of what the uh, what it looks like from the view of the camera. So I can, you know, preview it. I can set it somewhere, see how it looks from there, and change it if I need to. You can do all that from the GoPro Quick app. But what I do. I can get it here while I'm driving. What I do uh, to download the footage is I have this little uh, SD card reader. So I stick my little S 128 gigabyte SD card in there. I plug this into my iPad and I can download like 50 videos onto my, is a 64 gigabyte iPad. So with my apps and stuff on there, I do run out of storage sometimes, but that's how I do it. I use the adapter and I can, I can, I can upload, I don't know, 50, it's usually 50-ish videos per video that I put out there, you know, 50 clips around there. It's usually between 40 and 60. But those things will upload to my iPad through that SD card reader in 10, 15 minutes every time. So it works well, but, but I had somebody asking me, like, how do you edit? Do you use a laptop, you know, phone? How do you computer? How do you do it? No, I use an iPad. That's how I've done it from the start. Uh, my wife bought me a camera, I went and bought the iPad to do my editing. And I use Video Leap to uh, do the editing. I don't use the GoPro app, but you can, you can use that. There's all kinds of different apps you can use. I basically just went on the App Store, found one that I thought I would like, tried it out. I've been using it ever since. You know, you pay for it per year. I think it's like 50 bucks or something, 50, 60 dollars. But it's got cool features and, and I like it. So that's how I do my editing. Hopefully that answers y'all's questions if you had any. Everything is going smooth here on the Turnpike, Pennsylvania Turnpike. We're just a head east, eastbound and down. Everything stand tight on the load there. So we're looking good. Should get over in the left lane so that I can hit the center lane. Don't want to? Alright. We'll just wait then. We're getting there. It's about 3.15 now. 15 20 minutes to go yet hopefully we can get on loaded in you know 20 30 minutes which it should work normally doesn't take long but gotta get down here to the east side of Quarryville gotta get back up to the precast yard to get reloaded but I think we'll be all right of course when you're in a hurry there's road work everywhere you know and Taurus. The Taurus are back in town. Whatever. Well, we made it over here, so. Take all these straps off. Looks like everything stayed together nice. Take the straps off and won't take long to unload this light stuff, so. Let's get her done and get on up to Africa to get this reload. minutes that's awesome 
20 minutes. Yep, so we're heading up there now. He was actually wondering if I can do a quick load for them yet, but I said, uh-uh, sorry. Can't do it today. So maybe when I get back from New Jersey tomorrow, I'll be able to do that, but it's just not gonna work today. We gotta get reloaded. So I'd be willing to work late if I could squeeze it in there, but anyway, we'll get back up here to Alfredetta Reload, and then we're done for today. We got an auction to go to tonight, so we got plans tonight anyway. I'm going to meet my wife there, so we'll get reloaded and get on home for the day. here and staying away from the white line. Oh, a little bit over, not bad. We can make that. We can deal with that. thousand pounds trying to make it quick so I can get home in time for my plans this evening so let's get on back to the shop all right guys it is a Tuesday morning just did my pre-trip and I got a tire on the trailer back there that is just a little bit low I mean it's not bad at all it's just a little low so we're gonna get her fired up here pull front up to the shop there and get some air and tire and check all the straps and then we'll head to Jersey <laughs>
we're talking about is the key bridge down on the Baltimore Beltway on 695 collapsed earlier this morning. Yeah, it probably won't affect me as much as the heavy haul guys that take their loads across there to get out, but man, it's still going to be a mess. Um, a ship hit the bridge and it collapsed, so yeah, quite a mess down there.
you think, Matt, if you want to come on the other side and get out of the travel lane, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll come front. That's probably good enough. I mean, I'll be past the road sign a little bit, but you guys are good there. Mounted on the outside, 
it wouldn't have really worked anyway because of the high load, but that was close. Close, close. This driveway is really small. I don't know if you can really see it, but it kind of curves out that way. And it's got big curves, curbs, curbs with a B. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, it was tight to get in there. My tire, I was looking if I rubbed, but there's definitely no rub marks there because I thought my back tire was gonna hit, but from dropping those airbags in the back helps it to come around enough to where it just missed by a few inches so we're good to go all right we'll get the rest of these straps off because we're going to be backing straight in there so should be no big deal it's got two more to unload on that one so let's get her done and get ready to back in getting the last wall off on Steve's truck and we can get on in here I'm up here hooking up the walls for him and he's pulling in these guys work fast really fast bad it's just water laying just water puddles left over from the rain we'll get on Andy's case a little here don't work too hard <laughs> all right see if we can squeeze on out of here wiggle through here you got this odd turn curves on both sides where are you going back uh, i'm gonna make a left yeah uh actually with that truck there yeah it might be nice <laughs> thank you appreciate it that sir mucho gracias make a left it does help that we got that road to swing in there all right let's go thank you i appreciate it
finish off the day. So thanks for watching, guys. Much appreciated. See you next time. Thank you.